Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Hey guys. Hey guys. So we got the same kind of meal tonight. We both have ranch chicken salad. kaki has got hers in pitas, and then I've got Italian bread, which is garlic bread with chips. And then I have Jamie's hash browns from last night that he didn't <laughs> that I, eat. That I forgot <laughs> about, yeah. That he didn't eat, so. Should be a tasty meal. Hello, Deidre. Hello, Deidre. How are you doing, girl? Are you a chicken salad kind of person? There's a reason why I came up with this meal for tonight. I was going to pick a sandwich up at 7-Eleven. Hello, Hello Sol's mom. mom. Tracy's. Hello, Tracy. <laughs> almost called you Tracy's mom. Tracy Hunt. Tracy's. <laughs> Um, I was going to pick up a chicken salad sandwich at 7-Eleven and I was looking at it and I'm like, it looks good, but I probably could make a really good chicken salad sandwich and then add like a twist Hello, to Paisley. it. What's Hello, Paisley. What's up, Paisley? Christy. Hey, Christy. Um, so I texted Kaggy right away. I'm like, do you want to do ranch chicken salad tonight with bacon and tomato? And she's like, what did you... What for? Yeah, she said yes. I was like, yeah. With bacon. Like she, like, I was like, yeah, with bacon, because he left the bacon part out. Like, if we're doing ranch, you might as well do bacon. Uh, Pringles in the freezer, a good idea, yes or no? Probably. Yeah. I wouldn't say no. I've done Pringles in the freezer. I feel like any chip in the freezer is going to be good, regardless of the chip itself. Jamie, did anyone tell you that you made poutine last night? Someone did yes, mention poutine. Yes, um, it was... Uh, it was um, Andrea for, um, on YouTube. She's like, that was poutine. But you upgraded the poutine because you did pasta. It was, a po it was a poutine banger. It was really good last night, too, especially for for me working with what I had in the house last night. Cheez-Its in the freezer would probably be good, too. Cheez-Its grooves is where it's at, John. Yeah, Cheez-Its grooves are really good. You can't go back to doing regular Cheez-Its after having Cheez-Its groove. Fries, cheese, and gravy. Hell yeah, Sol's mom, that, that meal last night was delicious. Yeah, yours actually tasted really good. It was really good. I'm not gonna lie. Hello, Hello Margaret. Hello, Margaret. How you doing, girl? Quinn Storm, Cheez-Its grooves are so good. All, the, All flavors. the flavor, yeah. All the flavor. Yeah. So much better than regular Cheez-Its. Combos are, are, combos are the best thing you can put in the freezer, though. Thank me later. Trust me. Thank me later. Combos, Combos and Cheetos. Combos in the freezer are really good. Delicious. Hi, Stony Bird. Hello, Stony Bird. How you doing? So, let's talk about Cheers, Monday, shall we? Cheers, How DJ. Cheers, Paul. Hey, cheers, Kaki Do. Cheers. Cheers. Um, oh my god, I haven't had combos in forever. You used to love pizza ones. The, they used to make a jalapeno cheddar combo. And that was the best one. Yeah, the jalapeno cheddar and like the tortilla. It was like a tortilla um, crunch part. Oh my god, so good. They're discontinued, unfortunately. Ugh. Yeah, they'll be back. Oh, I'm sure back they'll be back, year. but they're discontinued at the moment. <laughs> <coughs> you alright? Yeah. T tomorrow, today's like Thursday for me. And Kaki, because we've got birthdays, mine and my kids, so tomorrow's like Friday for me. Now, here's where I'm debating on, because I'm not going to do pizza tomorrow night and on my birthday. So, do I do the homemade pizza tomorrow night, or do I do it on my birthday? Well, we listen. have a lot of stuff to do to get ready well, for our son's birthday tomorrow. Well, listen, there's a lot that has to get done tomorrow. I so, have, I don't I know have if a, that's to you know. I have a cake to make tomorrow. And I have a cake to make on Thursday as well. But I have a cake to make tomorrow night. So tomorrow night's got to be an easy dinner. I'm not doing video. I'm not doing anything complicated tomorrow. Well, any videos could be done. It just it can't be complicated. Listen, I don't even know how the hell I'm making this cake. Yeah, you got a lot of thinking to do. I still don't know what I'm doing with this. He wants a Pokemon cake. A Pokemon cake. So I'm kind of thinking like, here's the thing when it comes to me when I make cakes. She does I a good job. don't know what the hell I'm doing until everything's sitting in front of me and then poof, there comes the idea. That's how it goes in my mind. Like I can't sit here and say, oh, this is what I'm going to do. 
I have no idea. I literally <coughs> have to have the well, cake think... stacked in front of me, and then I have to figure out what I'm going to do. Well, he, it's a chocolate cake, so you got to get yellow, and not, your best bet is probably to do a Pikachu. Well, he wanted Charizard. Which is that? Which one is that one? That's the dragon. Charizard. He's like the orange dragon. And I bought. What's well, up, John? I went on to um to Amazon and I bought these little figures and this one figure like that I purchased um, lit up. You can get little. Well, here's the thing, Soul's mom. Um, I ordered these little things like from Amazon. I'm gonna let TikTok in, okay? Okay. Hi, Abby. So I, hello, Abby. How you doing, girl? Um, I did <coughs> order these things from Amazon. So there was a Pikachu that like lights up, which I thought was really cool, and they came with like these other three little figurines, and then I ordered like the birthday candles. Yeah. So uh, my I don't mom know made a cake for my son that was a volcano that worked all the edible and put the figures all around the, the bottom. bottom. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. That's very cool. That's awesome. What kind of cake you making me? Rainbow chip vanilla. Yes. Plain and simple. Don't and I can't, be... here's the thing, I can't <sighs> find the damn rainbow chip. I'll, I will get that. That's, I'm not worried about that. I can't find the damn rainbow chip. I'll get, the vanilla is not hard to find. The vanilla cake, that's easy to get, but the rainbow chip. I was in Stop Jump tonight. They did not have any rainbow chip. Yeah. Kaki, my store has the hot sauce. <clears throat> it's, um, you know. Oh, what? I'm ordering the hot sauce online. What hot sauce are you doing? Hello, Marie. The Valentina. I'm ordering that online. And I can, I can get two big bottles for like 10 bucks. Very excited. Well, I don't like. Very excited for that. Hi, guys from Los Angeles. Hello. Happy Monday. What are you up to? Oh, man. I got to tell you, today was not the easiest day when it comes to work. But, and my morning kind of started off a little bit frustrated. Hey, man. A little bit hot in the head. But I prevailed. <laughs> I did what I needed to do. I called Kat, and I'm like, I'm just going to take it easy today. And worst case scenario, I get home a little later than usual. And I did. Which you did. <laughs> but it's fine. Everything worked out. Everything worked out just fine. It was actually somewhat of a, what could have been a stressful, stressful kind of day. Kind of just wound up taking it easy and put all worries and, and problems behind me. And just rolled with the punches. Food looking great. What we have in ranch chicken salad on subs. Or garlic subs with uh, chips. Yes, Marie, I saw that. You can get the gallon of Hi, Iva. Valentina for eighteen dollars. I know, I saw that. I was like, damn, that's a lot of Valentina, and I don't know how the hell I would pour that on live. So is the greens <laughs> a secret? Also, <laughs> Jamie, pour that. It's fresh vegetables, John. I wouldn't Hello, say it's a Jimmy secret. Jam. What's up, Mr. Jimmy Jam? Hello there, roomies. Hello there, Thunder Buddy and Kid Sis. Shocked that I'm awake. You know, ever since turning 53, this staying up late is something between AARP and seniors specials. I'm, I'm spent. spent. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I figured you'd get a kick out of that. Hello, Damien. Hello, I've been having problems with my right leg lately. All the muscle tissues, so I've been limping. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Leslie. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. Listen, I had really bad sciatica the bat mm, last week. Really bad sciatica to the point where I couldn't sit. Thank you, Iva. This is one of my fancier oh, headbands hello, that Iva. I made. How you doing, girl? I have so many. I have over 140 something headbands. So it's like I'm gonna get back on the making them again. But for now, I'm kind of kind of rotate in with the matching headbands with the matching ankle accessory and just mix and match. I've been walking five miles every day, but my legs are so sore. Yeah, well. Yeah, it happens. I mean, yeah, it does. That it happens. happens. I, you know, um, tonight, the first mile was pretty slow for me. My legs are really sore as well. I had to go and have an x-ray on my leg because I thought it might have had a blood clot in my leg, but... Uh, hey friends, enjoy dinner. Oh, Thank Leslie, you very much. I'm so sorry. 
So what Hello, Yissy. Leslie, what did the doctor say? Yeah, what happened with that? Uh, 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 I haven't been able to stretch it out for a while. Not every time. I do, wow, my food is so bright. It's killing the comments. Uh, just, just, uh, what's up, Macho Man? Hello. Arthritis, but I'm supposed to call my doctor for the results. Results in the morning. Okay, well, good luck. Hopefully, he just says, take some, get some rest. Hopefully. Well, if it's arthritis, I don't know what we can do for that. Big D, my goodness, that food looks delicious. Thank you. Did you see the TikTok video I just put out? I put two of them out. Uh, hello, Phil. How you doing, man? Wow, that looks great, guys. Thank you. Jamie, if... Jamie, your sub in the front looks delicious. I have yet to eat dinner, so I'm licking the screen right now. We're licking it like Kagi licked syrup off you on the stream. Remember that? <laughs> you guys want a close-up of him? <laughs> that was when you were freaky. Kagi's no longer freaky. She's turned into... Um, no. I know you guys got the bad view. It's the camera. Yeah, you guys got the good view. YouTube Live's got it good, though. Hello, MB. Oh, hello, MB. How you doing, girl? All right, let's go with first bite. This could, there's a chance this comes out dry. Hmm. Okay, that's good. Of course it is. I was afraid I didn't have like, I was afraid I, I, I maybe should have put like some ranch or mayo on the bread instead of just in the chicken salad. Yeah, Jimmy Jam. Only Turns fans. out it's good though. <laughs> I had the video in the pics. LOL, Jamie didn't enjoy it so much. He wanted to save that for their OnlyFans. For the OnlyFans. <laughs> this Except is good. I don't think OnlyFans existed at that time. And if they did, we didn't know about it. Well. Yeah. <laughs> I've been saying to do an OnlyFans ever since I found out about it. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. I'm sorry. I'm not doing that. <coughs> I respect your wishes. I know you do. <clears throat> wow, how long ago was that, Jimmy? That she did the syrup thing. That had to be like two years ago. Favorite food is pizza. Yes. I do, re I do recall the situation. I'm cold. That I, do up down here? I do remember it. That night. I'm not proud of it, but you know. Were you know. we in a hotel? No, we were here. Mm. <laughs> we were here. Let me look it out now. I'll be right back. How can you eat so much? Where does it go? Perth, Western Australia? You're from Australia? How often do you fast? I don't fast. Kaki does. Mm -hmm. No, I take in calories throughout the whole day. If you go to Jamie's videos, you can see the preparation for the meal. Yeah, there's, yes, thank you, MB. There's two yes. videos for, for tonight that I posted with this meal. So, I think they came out pretty, I think both videos came out good. I think I picked two bangers of song choices that if you're old school movie buffs, you'll like one's team wolf and then the other one is from what was it called that thing you do Ooh. is that what it's called that thing you do i think so what movie you look like Macho Man Randy Savage, man. Thank you. I appreciate that. Take it as a compliment. I get it every night. Every night. I don't. Yes, you do. I don't get sick of that. The X Pac stuff I get sick of. <clears throat> Cause I get him too. That's my hubby's favorite movie. Yeah, it, it's a good movie. Teen Wolf is a really good movie. Yeah, I love that movie. And then that thing you do, you've seen it before. Yeah, I know I have, but I haven't seen it in a while. Check your wraps, always look good. Thank you. 
Well, these aren't wraps, Abby. These are pita bread. These are pita pockets. Wow, low-fat ranch and mayo. If you're eating all that bread, cheese, and bacon, uh-huh. Yeah, there's, so there's light ranch, there is light mayo, there's lettuce, there's tomato, there's bacon, and then there's Swiss cheese. And then there's potato chips, because why not? Yeah, when I made my chicken salad, there's no mayo in mine. It's all Boathouse Farms Ranch. Sub or pizza? Is either your favorite? Pizza's my favorite. This is really good. I don't think I needed a, a, a third half, though. We do not go right to bed when we sign off. We have to clean up. Yeah, we clean up for about... It all depends. Like... If we don't have to get up in the morning early, we'll chitter chatter. And sometimes she means, well, thank you, Abby. I appreciate that, girl. Thank you. We'll chitter chatter and take our time, but usually, like, tomorrow we both have work. So we're going to, and we want to kind of have a, a alone time before we go to bed tonight. So um, tonight's going <laughs> to be like a night where we say goodnight to you guys and then start cleaning. And then go to bed. So within a half an hour, 45 minutes, we'll be in bed when we say goodnight to you guys. Wow, this is good. Why do you put chips in the freezer? They taste better. They taste better that way. You need to try it for yourself, and then you'll know. Oh, no. <clears throat> Found it. <laughs> I'm sure you did, Jimmy Jim. How do you sleep on a full stomach? You know that feeling you get? When you're done eating Thanksgiving, it's just like that. Put the parade on, watch the football game, and then you take people right to sleep. Very easy. I can't, I don't, it's hard for me to go to sleep without a, a full stomach. I love you guys. Thank you. Vegas, they sleep fine. Yeah, we sleep like, uh, sleep like little babies. Oh, thank you, Shumboy. No answer reflux, no? If I do have any type of heartburn, it usually happens, like in the morning. But knock on wood, I'm not going to knock on the real wood. I haven't had it in a while. Hello from California. Started running because of you. Thanks. I feel, I feel Hello, great. Moral. Well, thank you for letting me know. I love hearing when people <laughs> say that to me. Like they started running or they want to start running or walking or exercising in general. Look at your picks. I don't want to, Jimmy Jam. <laughs> I don't want to. Big jumper, I like watching you eat every day. Thank you. How long have you been wrestling? I don't wrestle no more. It's, that's in my past. Unless someone contacts me and says, hey, that's why I purposely pinned that TikTok on my video because I never know who's watching me. And I never know. So, um, but yeah, I, I don't wrestle no more. Maybe one day. Hello. Fat chance. Oh, but. hello, Sam. What's in the pita pockets? Chicken salad. Ranch chicken salad. No mayo. Boathouse Farms Ranch. You know how I'm going about... And then <clears throat> I put some cranberries in here, too. Let me, guys, let me tell you guys something about wrestling. Like today's wrestlers. And I'm not saying this is all wrestlers. <laughs> Personable. And let me tell you what I'm doing. Quiet, Jim Jim. Most, I don't hear that. <laughs> most wrestlers are getting into wrestling and using wrestling as a stepping stone to become an actor or um, a rapper or a reality show or... The, a clothing line. They're using wrestling to open doors for other places. I don't want to, and I don't have, like, the time to do, to get back into wrestling. But if I could get noticed doing something else, I'm kind of doing the backwards thing. Does that make sense? Everybody that, not everybody, most people that get into wrestling now and wants to go to the WWE... Once they get there and use it as a stepping stone for other doors to open. I want to use all this stuff as a stepping stone for wrestling to come after me. Do the opposite. Go to my true love. 
Know what I mean? Does it make sense? Uh, uh, that's when Jamie was shy. What phone are you using for TikTok? It's a, it, you know what, John? TikTok is on an iPad. So that's why the, the, the quality camera is not great. Yeah. I'm not in AEW, no. No, no, no. But hey, Tony Khan came in here one time. At least that's what the name said <laughs> yeah, on the screen. Yeah, that's what the name said. That's a true story. It probably wasn't really him, but it said Tony Khan, and it had his picture and everything. And he asked me what I thought about the show that happened that night, and I wasn't a fan of it, and I said that. And all he responded was, WTF, and then he never said nothing again. <clears throat> um, today's wrestlers are not like the early 90s, like Stone Cold and Bret Hart. I agree. <laughs> Jimmy Jim, I remember that. Hubs thought he saw you on it. He watches wrestling religiously. No, I've never been to AEW. My favorite is when you were talking about peeing and put eggplant. And Jimmy was like, I love eggplant. Who doesn't like eggplant parm? Hmm. He was obvious. <laughs> he would never that was before I knew the eggplant emoji was a penis. <coughs> I love eggplant parm. Oh, Jimmy, Jimmy and I laugh about that all the time. Yeah. <laughs> well, sorry that my head's not always in the gutter. I don't always relate to long objects as wieners. <laughs> How long did you wrestle for, Oops. though? Like 10 years, on and on. Uh, I never did nothing special. I was never anything, like, I, I never did anything. No, but you were really good. I was very good. Like, even today, and I haven't been in a wrestling ring in about two years, I could get in a ring tonight and probably still make whoever it is that they're trying to make on TV look like a million dollars, <laughs> that would be my job. I could do that. Like, I would I would bet anything on it. I could make anybody look good. I could make a broomstick look good. <sighs> favorite past and favorite current wrestler? Oh, hey, Busty Mama. How you doing, girl? Um... Samson, like a jobber. Like a job. Uh, well, like an enhancement talent. I could make the, I could, I could do the moves, but I, I just so happen to make other people look better, and that's how I always looked at it. Whether I was winning or I, or I was losing the match, I always looked at the most important part of the match was making my opponent look good. Uh. My favorite current wrestler that I enjoy like watching, um, honestly, probably Cody Rhodes right now. And then, of all time, Macho Man or Shawn Michaels, Bret Hart, Owen Hart. I got a bunch of past ones that I couldn't just pick one. Your sound is always so low compared to other lives. Well, that doesn't have anything to do with us. <laughs> That's a TikTok issue. Yeah, it's not our problem. Hi, Princess Pants. Hello, Princess Pants. Hello, Doreen. I'm serious. Give me... I can, I can make a broom look good. I can make a ladder look good. Freaking Jimmy Jam calling me Perry Saturn. Dave, that was a... He was, a, he was great. <laughs> I don't even know who that is. Yeah, you would. I want to lose weight and have the energy you have. I, I know I come off having a lot of energy, but when I'm not on, I'm not on. How do you feel about Brock Lesnar? I like Brock. Well, hello, Mikey. What's up, Mikey? Hello, Harkin. Hola. How are you? I like Brock. I like Roman. Mmm. These sandwiches are good. Or a guy named Mike Gold versus Randy Savage. I finally caught you live. Well, hello. Thank you for uh, popping in and saying hello. Are you usually sleeping well, hello, when we're Carol. eating? 
on, Judith. Wow, I'm surprised how good these are. I'm probably not going to eat both, both three of them. I'm going to probably have one more. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I had, I had a lot of bananas today. Hello, guys. How are you this evening? We're good. Is that chicken from a can? Gross. I've never had it. Uh, it's not bad. I wanted rotisserie chicken, but the store didn't have it. I'm looking forward to this weekend's pay-per-view. AEW is growing on me. Some of it is meh, some of it is good, but looking forward to the pay-per-view. I'm watching it for free, so if you want, I'll FaceTime it for you. <laughs> oh, I'm ordering it, Jimmy. I'm ordering it. I'm looking forward to it, too. Uh, Will you be making your pizza homemade on your birthday? Yeah, it's not going to be tomorrow because uh, cause we got a lot of setting up to do tomorrow yeah, night. No. Imagine this, guys. You guys know how it it goes for us when we're setting up for one of the kids' birthdays. There's we, a lot to do. We have to break we down. We got to break down this, clean up this, and then set up all the stuff that we're doing for him. Hello, eyes. So for my birthday, I'll probably wind up doing the pizza. Uh, I well, wasn't calling it gross. I was just asking. No, no, no. I misread it. I know. I saw what you wrote. <laughs> do you think Johnny Depp is? Do I think Johnny Depp is cool? I think he's a good actor. I think Johnny Depp is cool, and I think he's hot. I said it, and I know. I know I'm not the only one. About what, Johnny Depp? Yeah, he's so hot. He aged like a fine wine. We we like Indian food. We just don't eat it a lot. Uh, scammy, watch out. You don't want to play victim to... What are you talking about? Unfortunately, someone tried to scam you? Doing By doing what? Unfortunately, you don't want to play victim to that? Who scammed you? <clears throat> yeah, that's why I don't give my information out to anybody. Mm -hmm. When are we going to get the house tour? I don't know. Believe it or not, I'm to actually... To be quite honest, I'm I private. don't... I, yeah, I don't want to give a house tour. To be quite honest. And it's no disrespect, but... They pretended to be somebody they want. They used their phone and everything, and they tried texting me. Ah, sorry to hear that. Oh, uh, yeah, no. I get things like that all the time. I don't even answer my friends and family in text messages. I get things like that all the time. I never respond to any of it. I love the brick table. Thank you. Have to keep some stuff private. Yeah, Tom. I mean, I keep... I share a lot. I do. I share a lot. But at the same time, uh, I keep a lot of things private. How do you feel about Dan... How, how do you feel about Hook and Dan Housing? I like Hook a lot. I think Hook is great. Dan housing, I'm, 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 you know, everybody loves him, it seems. People are honest, but they're not. You have to learn. Yeah, you, you can't. Here's the thing. I guess it's going to sound very crappy, but like, it is what it is. I don't trust anybody. <laughs> Me neither. Not even Jimmy Jam. Well, I, I don't even trust Kathy sometimes. I trust Jimmy I don't trust Jim. my own mother. You guys think you can laugh all you want. You know it's true. I don't trust anybody. I don't. Here's the thing. I'm always like, thinking someone's going to stab me in the back. I don't trust anybody that I don't know. Good old know, barbershop. That I Shawn don't Michaels, know. Michaels, Marty, Janetti. Boom. Through the mirror. Always thinking something like that's going to happen. If I don't know you personally, I do not trust you. If I do know you personally, oh, yeah. I don't trust he, you. He still doesn't trust me, but that's besides the point. Uh. You guys can laugh. It's the truth. I have a very big trust issue. Girlfriends, friends, coworkers, family members. I'm always thinking someone's out to get me. Yeah, because I'm out to get you. Listen, if I wanted to get you out of it, you'd already be dead. Peggy's. <laughs> I would have killed you by now. Peggy's after my money, guys. <laughs> she wants my millions. I'm still trying to find it. Yeah. <laughs> I've got to find it before I kill you. I got, I got them in a lot of, uh, <laughs> got it in a lot of holes. I got to find it first. 
Uh, you have trust issues too. What's in the shake bottle? Those are my greens. Oh, hmm. <laughs> uh, we're laughing, but it's the truth. I have, I have, I have serious trust issues. I don't blame him. He doesn't trust himself around a bag of Oreos. What makes you think that he'll trust anyone else? <laughs> That's true. Mm -hmm. True story. Thank you, Jimmy Jam. Well, I didn't share with you guys what I'm doing yet. Well, Kathy, Peach, we're obviously kidding about trust, not trusting one another. <laughs> Why? What happened? How can you be together if you don't trust each other? That must be hard. She trusts me. I don't trust her. I don't trust anybody. DTA, SOB. He's kidding. I trust. He obviously Kathy. trusts me. <laughs> we have kids together. Obviously, he trusts me. What's the worst? You injury? have to. You have to be able to like. Yeah. Understand Jamie's satire sometimes. <laughs> uh, worst injury I ever got wrestling. Nothing serious. Nothing serious. I mean, I hurt my my ankle pretty damn. Uh, actually, that is the worst I ever got. I it was a stupid mistake. I jumped off the top rope and I was supposed to, I was gonna drop an elbow drop, and then my partner, because I was in a tag team, oh, told thank me, you, Irish Dad. Told me no, don't do it. It's too soon for the in the match to do it. So I was already on the top rope and I'm not gonna just walk down. So I jump off and instead of doing an elbow, I give it like a big stomp and I put all of my weight <coughs> on my left foot mm -hmm. which I remember this sprained it bad I couldn't walk and then I, I finished the match I took the rest of the bumps I was supposed to take without having my leg actually touch anything it was bad I was um, I remember that for me for me to go pee in the middle of the night or or just in general get up and do anything I had a crawl and then when I would get up um, all the blood would come rushing down. It was, and my ankle still messed up from that time to time. You sprain an you sprain an ankle really bad. That never, you you will always have that. Oh yeah, once you sprain your ankle, you're screwed. Only yeah. because it's no weekend, and any time like you move that <sighs> ankle the wrong way, yeah, it gets messed up. But said he refuses to trust me around his pizza, his garlic well, mats, or you didn't read the whole thing. I Jamie did. only trusts me with I read his it in social my mind. security, his bank account, and his peacock account. But <laughs> he refuses to trust me around either his pizza, his garlic knots, or around Khaki's homemade cookies. That's true. Can you go up a little bit more? Look at the hoax there. Did you ever get stiffed by another wrestler when you were green? Did you ever get... Oh, you got stiffed by somebody. Oh, I remember this one. Yeah, dead presidents beat the shit out of me in Monticello, New York. And then you got stiffed by that other dude. The, oh. nin the ninja guy that you kicked the crap out of. Well, he tried... He, <laughs> he stiffed you and you got up and you freaking stormed in the room. Yeah. Um, so this joker... <laughs> was not trained and I was wrestling in New Jersey and we had spots planned out for the match Hello, bam, bam. and he decided to go into business for himself and try to take advantage of me oh thank you for the gifts I was dad appreciate that one. bumper cars thank, thank you. you very much everything I did to him he kind of didn't let anything sink in he just kept on going back at it like it was a real fight and finally, he gave me a spin hey, kick <clears throat> so hard to the chest. Knocked the wind out of me. I rolled out, caught my breath. I <laughs> came back up to those stairs and beat the holy hell out of him. <laughs> I've never seen Jamie so angry in a wrestling ring to the point where he just like literally stuck. I, I picture our daughter now because our daughter does the same damn thing. Like she has like his like ability I stomped to be like, so hard. Stomp up the stairs. Walked in the ring and just like, kicked the shit out of this guy. Cut the match three minutes early. <laughs> just, and just, and, 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 cause I didn't, number one, I knew he, this guy wasn't safe. And number two, apparently he's a real karate man. I didn't want to take a chance of me getting hurt. And it was a triple threat match. And the guy, the other guy that I was wrestling, um, I was buddy buddy with, I told him, 
he's like, all right, let's just go home. And we did what we did. And then getting to the back, I'm waiting for him in the locker room and the promoter is standing there and he's asking me, what happened, what happened? I said, this Joker has never been trained. He goes, did you say that? I'm like, ask him yourself. This is before I knew this. So the guy comes back and he's, doesn't even have wrestling gear, he's in like a black under He was in shirt. literally like a ninja Quite suit. A and I asked him right in front of the promoter, I said, I'm like, who trained you? And he's like, he's like, well, I never really been to wrestling school, but I've been studying tape and I'm self-trained. Looked at the promoter, I said, there you go, and walked away. Didn't get paid, nothing. Never forget that. I won't forget it either, because you got up, you were pissed, and you kicked the shit out of this dude. Oh, then, no, I didn't, I wouldn't go that far. I just, no. I, I gave him a couple shots, and then we, I ended the match. Nothing crazy. I'm not a, not a, not a badass. Uh, every time I watch your stream, I find out something remember, cool about you. I remember watching that, like, from, like, the audience, and I was sitting there, like, with your friend, John. Yeah. And he was like, oh, yeah. oh, he's pissed. Oh, he's really pissed. <laughs> like, oh, I know he's pissed. And then he stomped into the ring and was like, kick the guy. Yeah. <laughs> I was just like... <laughs> What's up, Laura? How are you? Yeah, crazy stuff. You, it's, it's amazing when oh, you... Oh, I was laughing. It's, it's, it's amazing <laughs> what you do when you're younger and you have a hot temper and you don't care and you get, you're filled with piss and vinegar. Yeah, you still have a hot temper from now and then. Not as bad as it once was. No, you've we, calmed down a lot. Hello, it used Stacey. to be a lot worse. We've been together like, it's going to be 16, 16 years. 16 years in September. 16 years. It's interesting to watch you guys live. Very supportive and kind. Ah, thank you, Anthony. Appreciate oh, that. Thank you. Jamie, you got food on the right side of your beard and in your hair on the right side. I do. Thank you, Jimmy Jam. <laughs> Uh, I've been doing so much talking, I'm getting full on. Still got a whole thing to go. Uh, we don't talk about what we do for work. No disrespect, Hello, but we don't talk about that. Yeah, 16 years, it's a long time. Yeah, freaking. Some say a prison years, sentence. Long, yeah, well. Some say a prison sentence. Could be. But I'm so damn sweet and nice. Yeah, you're alright. <laughs> Have you ever shaved the beard? It's been years. Accidentally, the one time. You didn't mean to cut it so short. Oh. But then you had to fix it. Last year? Yeah. Jimmy GM didn't like that. When I did it? I mean, I didn't think it looked bad. It was bad. It just looked different. It was Because I'm used to seeing you like this. Yeah, it was bad. And then you, like, completely... I did. I... I <laughs> I tried shaved a lot of it off. <laughs> yeah, I ca I shaved all this, all down here. It was like and, a five o'clock shadow. Like, almost. It was like, a, and then I had a mustache, and then that night we're streaming and no one's saying anything, and then Jimmy Jam come in and I told him I said oh, I made a mistake, <laughs> and then I asked Jimmy, I said, and I'm like I'm like Jimmy, what do you think? He goes, I don't like it. Grow it back. <laughs> Drink your mega pint. I will drink my mega pint. Thank you. Who's your favorite wrestler? Bret Hart, Macho Man, Owen Hart, Shawn Michaels, Ryan Pillman. I Those still wanted to do that video for TikTok. Which one? The mega pint. I poured myself a large glass of wine. I felt it necessary. Mm. I still want to do that. 16 years, many people prayed to have what you have. Thank you. We're lucky. I literally have a mega pint. <laughs> nice. Mega pint of cab. What's the most you ever got paid for a wrestling match? Seventy-five bucks. Do you ever get tired of doing the lives? No. No. Sometimes um, we'll actually be tired, and maybe our our energy level isn't. As high up as it should be, uh, but like getting sick and tired of doing it, no, <clears throat> no. So, but you know, if we come off to, in, if we come off being moody, or maybe 
you know, annoyed. It's not against you guys. No. It's just that we had a long day or a bad day or are very tired and kind of just want to eat and, and hit the hay, yeah. you know? If you had one place you want to travel and would love to move to, what would it be? Well, well, <laughs> well, well we went to Florida last summer. Just to, you know, meet the rest of my sisters. And then we loved it when we were there. Oh, I got chicken in my nose. We loved it when we were there. And honestly, we want to live there. You want to go to Florida? We just want to live in Florida. Hello, Tiger Lily. Hello, Tiger Lily. How are you, girl? I feel like a stalker. I just sit back and watch and listen. And listen? <laughs> yeah, you're not a stalker. Uh, are we releasing any merch? Not right now, no. No. You live in Florida? Yeah, we, we're, we're, we're itching to go. Mm -hmm. we're, we're, itching, we're itching to go, and hopefully we'll be there by summer. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Hopefully. Oh, Anthony, you're in Florida. Nice. Yeah, a lot of people in here are from Florida. A are, lot of people that watch us are from Florida. I'm on it, then. We got a lot of Florida guys, gals, and then a lot of New York. Clearwater Beach is, a, is an awesome It's very cool. Well, Anthony, when we went to Florida, we went to Port Orange. And it was beautiful. It was very beautiful. The house we stayed in was beautiful. We went to the beach over there. It was awesome. Uh-huh. Nevada. Glendale, I'm Arizona. From Arizona. Uh, we've never been to California. Uh, Florida, Hollywood. Are you Dolph Ziggler? Oh, hello, Stray Cat. Hello. How you doing, girl? Denver, Tampa. Tampa, Florida. Nice. Saskatchewan. Very oh, nice. Canada. Very nice. I used to live in Fort Walla. Oh, Molly from Michigan. We have Sherry from Texas. New Zealand. Layton from New Zealand. Peacemaker. Oh, I think that's what it said. It was Peace Comes Within from Washington. You know, I had some family from Washington. They moved away. Alabama. And now they're back. Georgia. I'm from Georgia. You got from uh, Florida, Hollywood. LOL. He got that from Pat Patterson, who had a mobile home here in Hollywood. Really? That's pretty cool. I didn't know that. Hello, Rob. Car Jib from Georgia. Hello. You guys come to Philly and I'll make you the best stromboli you ever had. Oh, yeah? Stromboli boss. Me and Kagi are due for... I love for some stromboli. Hello, Tricky Mickey. Yeah, we're due to, to go on a vacation. Did you ever... Get to work with a famous wrestler. Yes, you can. Many, many, many of them, yeah. Would you I, ever make a live where you cook your food on live? One day, yeah, I'm sure. And we kind of did that for a little bit on Instagram. We tried it. We tried to, but it was very complicated. There were too many things going on. It's hard for us to do that. And to give a live stream cooking its full attention without focusing on what we're actually doing. Hey bro, your videos make me want to cook. Well, thank you. You should cook. Nashville is a seven hour drive from me. Yeah, we were talking about that the other night. Jimmy Jam, would you f mm -hmm. if, if. You're due for a trip to Chicago. Yeah, you're right, Jimmy Jam. We are due <laughs> for a trip to Chicago. <laughs> would you have driven if if we did do that? Or would you fly? You'd probably fly, right? Jimmy Jam would probably fly. He's accustomed <laughs> to flying. You're not. I d I d yeah, I'm not a flyer. Like I said, if I had to be somewhere for a certain reason, I would fly. Mm -mm. Have you ever been called Johnny Depp because of the hair and the beard? Yeah. Well, I've never been like mistaken not by him. Johnny Depp, but Crack Sparrow. He's definitely been called like Jack Sparrow. <sighs> mm -mm. When's your cookbook coming out? Um. So the plan was for August to do that. I've kind of changed my mind. 
what I'm gonna do is start uploading recipes to Instagram. Uh, ingredients, calories, that kind of stuff. Um, and then instead of charging you guys for it, what I what I already did was I set up a cash app. And if you go to my Instagram and you like a recipe that I make, then feel free to donate to you know whatever you think it's worth. But I don't want to charge for recipes. If you want to support the cause and hook a brother up, <coughs> by all means, go ahead. But I'm so worried about putting out a recipe and charging somebody for it and then them not liking it. So I'd rather, if you like it, you know, you can do something. If you don't, you don't. I think it's easier that way. Nice and easy. Chicago has real food. Come to a city that's known for its food scene. Like what? What is New York even known for? Dirty water dogs and fake pizza. We even have prime cut steaks. And don't get me started on wineries. Well, listen, Jimmy Jam. The wineries here in New York. Oh, I've been to a lot of them. King of Queens, and yeah. And they're quite delicious. Trust me, I've drank from almost every single one of them. <laughs> Pasta and chips with noodles and gravy? Yeah. The best meal that I've done in the last, like, month, couple months, my favorite meal that I've done was those meatloaf burgers that I did. Yeah. So, uh, listen. It was not hard to do. It was very tasty, and it was easy to do. Like, really easy to do. It was <clears throat> so good. What was your wrestling name and gimmick? Uh, well, my name was the same. It's ja it was Jamie Van Lemer. And then gimmick-wise, I don't, I don't know. I had long pink hair. What was the platform do you like the most in viewer form? I'm sorry, what do you mean? What platform yeah. do you like the most in... For, like, for views? Is that what you mean? Well... We're live on two platforms, and we're not going for... Yeah, we're live on YouTube and TikTok. Yeah, like, we're not going to be like, oh, I, we're here because we want more view. No. TikTok, I enjoy TikTok the most. There, it's just, Instagram changed a lot of stuff what, up. What platform do you like the most in viewer form? I don't know what that means. Were you a heel? Yeah. I was a very bad baby face. People didn't like me. Um, oh, which one supports you the most? Probably TikTok. TikTok probably supports us the most, but... But that's all... But the YouTube is I bit, honestly it, prefer YouTube only because there's less hate on there. To be honest, I'm going to be honest. YouTube is more of people we've been talking to for years. If that makes sense. We've developed relationships on YouTube... Yeah. Like actual, like, friendships. Right, I'm not eating any more of a sandwich. I'm not saying that there aren't friendships on TikTok. Because there are. But TikTok also has a lot more hate and a lot more negativity. Yeah. Uh, hope you guys continue to do the show, show when you move. Yeah, we're gonna. Oh, yeah, no, we're going to. I'm subscribing to YouTube now. Oh, thank you, Skulls. Appreciate, appreciate it. that. Um, yeah, there's no, there's no plans on discontinuing the show. Yeah, is I the mean, name the same? Yes. Yeah. The name is the same. The only thing I could say, when it comes to the lives, the actual show, the eating part, is we might, might, just to assure us getting <coughs> to Florida before <coughs> September, might have to take a like a, a thirty day break. Just to save up every penny, kind of deal. We'll see though. Kaki, that's why you got us. We'll protect you. Oh well. Thank you, Ruthie. Well, I'm not even like worried about that. Here's the thing. I don't care if you don't like me. I don't care if you hate me. Whatever. And if you love me, thank you. I appreciate that. But it's the negativity that I don't like. I don't really care if you don't like me. That's fine. But we're not here to be negative. Jamie and I are very positive people. Hell yeah. We're very positive and we try to like... I love Monty Brown. Make people's days and we try to like interact with you guys. Like, you know, you have those negative people. But we don't have that on YouTube. YouTube is completely different. 
It's a very positive place. There's very rarely any negativity there. Did you ever travel and wrestle or just in your state? No, I've traveled before. Seriously, the both of you are really hard to not like. Well, thank you, Skulls. We, I appreciate that. So does Jeannie. Someone asked about Monty Brown. I don't even know who I that is. If you saw him, you would know who he is. That dude was awesome. You went to high school with him? Oh, what could have been? Molly Bennett went to high school with him. That's I don't even know who cool. the hell that is. Oh, yes, you do. If you if I showed you a well, picture maybe of him. Maybe if you show me a picture. I don't know. I'm a visual person. Yeah, he was freaking like, names, good. Names, like, escape me. Yeah, I like the positives. You're so right. Thank you, Ruthie. Sometimes a little hate is fun, though. I, you know, uh, you, you know, you need kind of need a little bit of everything. Listen, somebody left a comment the other day that said, I'm not sensitive to you. And I kind of wanted to rip them a new one, but I didn't. I took care of it. Hmm, yeah, I know what you said, but I would have went about it a different way. Nah. <laughs> No need to cause problems. I wasn't gonna cause a problem, but you know. You guys are awesome. I thank you. you. Oh, you're done. I'm not finishing. I'm full. Um, we want to clean up. They are so unhappy and mean. Yes. They I know, are. Ruthie. You guys are awesome. Thank you. All right, guys. Thank we're you, gonna, Dale Boxy. Thank you. We're gonna call it here. We'll see you tomorrow night. I don't. It's gonna be something takeout probably tomorrow night. If if I whip out a recipe tomorrow night. I'll be shocked. We have if a lot to do. If you whip out a recipe, you're going to be recording it your damn self. Yeah, I probably won't be whipping out <laughs> no recipes tomorrow night. There'll be no recipes tomorrow. But thank you guys for hanging out with us tonight. We will see you tomorrow. And then it'll be my birthday. Yes. Good night, guys. Have a good night, guys.